Hi, Cancer. I hope you're all doing well. Let's get into your reading. I'm going to pull out two oracle cards, one for your support and one for your challenge, and then we'll get into the tarot. This is a general message here on YouTube, so it may not resonate, and if it doesn't, that's totally fine. That's okay. You can check out some of my other Cancer readings. They're timeless, or another channel, or your other placements, or whatever you want to do. Uh, if it does resonate, there will be an extended, and you can find that link in the description box below. Okay, Cancer, let's see. What's the support right now, Spirit Guides? Oh, thank you. We have, I don't know how to say this properly. I think it's uh, <laughs> Deluge, Deluge. I really should figure out the pronunciation of that. Do I even have my thing here? No. Okay, and let's see what the challenge is. If I'm not mistaken, that talks about creativity, that card. Combustion. Ooh, don't overdo it there, Cancer. Okay, take it easy on yourself. I'm seeing source at the bottom. I'm hearing pay attention to your body. Your body's telling you something. If you need to slow down it's okay to take a break or maybe you need to move there's something your body is telling you uh, because you're you're pushing yourself with something could be mentally emotionally spiritually or maybe physically creatively let's see what this card is all about a flooding of emotional energy may cause us to feel saturated at times these waves of emotion can carry us to a safe shore if we are able to tolerate the discomfort. The practice, of stay, the practice of staying with difficult feelings and not jumping overboard can help us stay on course and land where we truly want to be. Ah, so your body is speaking to you or your mind, your soul, your spirit, all of that, <laughs> uh, because there's something... You need to pay attention to some feeling, some thought form here, and you need to slow down, I feel like, or get moving. And when I say moving, I mean like being in nature, moving in nature, something like that. There needs to be some time here by yourself, I feel, uh, to work through something. You'll gain some kind of aha moment, some insight here. So that's your support. So let's see what the challenge. Combustion. A burning flame provides warmth and light through the transformation of energy, but can be destructive if not carefully tended. Consider the volatil volatil oh my gosh, I'm sorry, cancer. The volatility of a given situation and take care to monitor the level of risk involved. So there's some situation coming up or either that you're currently in that requires you to be level-headed and calm and centered and grounded. And so the support spirit is saying, get that stuff in order now, really plant yourself in your position, okay, and what you're thinking and what you're feeling, because there is some kind of volatile situation on the horizon or that you're currently in that's gonna require your calm energy. Now, Cancer, when you get overwhelmed, well, I feel like a few things can happen. It's You're kind of unpredictable in that way, right? Well, you are the sideways mover. And so it's like you could either really snap with your pincers, you know, you could really like <laughs> get, get someone, I'm hearing where it hurts, okay? Or you could withdraw totally and like exit the situation. Many of you know I have Cancer, my Venus is in Cancer. Uh, and my mid-heaven is in Cancer, so I have some of that in my chart, especially when it comes to love and career with Venus. So I'm aware of how this kind of works with Cancerian energy. And this is why it's important for you to ground yourself before this event appears for you on the horizon. I'm hearing that. I feel like you might be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with a lot of fire energy. Let's get more into your reading, Cancer. Mm, what deck do I want to use? I was planning to use this, but I wasn't... I wasn't anticipating that we'd be focusing so much on you in a situation with an external energy. 
You want to take a deep breath with me for a second, Cancer? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay. Cancer. <laughs> not that there's, not that you're like, I feel like you are calm, but there's a stillness that spirit wants to activate in you. Okay, let's get six cards out here, spirit guides. Thank you for those messages. The hermit, see? Mm -hmm. Ooh, very nice. Uh huh. Okay, so regardless of what's unfolding and about to happen, I feel like. It's gonna go well for you, okay? I don't feel like you have anything to worry about here or fear. I do feel like there is an outside energy that's a little bit unstable. Now, this could be an employer, this could be a love situation, this could be a family member, what have you. Apply it to however it resonates for you. I'm actually gonna use the charms and pull out a couple of these. These are just little, I'm just using them as little clues to help you uh, connect to the reading. If, um, maybe there's things here that will resonate for you to let you know the reading is for you. And if nothing resonates here for you, it doesn't mean that there isn't a message here, okay? So just whatever, do whatever you want. <laughs> use your intuition, you know how to do that. Okay, so we have the letter R, the letter O, I'm hearing ROE, like record of employment. This might have to do with career for some of you. Uh, v, and we have the words lost, believe, and please. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus, or you might have those in your chart. I'm also seeing a chameleon here. I feel like whoever this outside energy represents, there's a little bit of a, hmm, a hard to read energy, particularly when it comes to their feelings. This person or these people might kind of go back and forth between two extremes. I'm seeing that with the two fixed signs, Leo and Taurus. It's like one minute they're very boastful, full of energy, maybe a little bit prideful. Okay, feel like their energy is very strong. And then in, in the other instance, maybe they're more reserved, stubborn, quiet. ROV. I'm, I'm seeing like Rover, like the car, like a Range Rover. Or V as well, or V. It's like they, without feeling like they've won something, they feel a little bit lost. They also want you to believe something here. Tell me more about the scissor. What's a scissor? We have a button here. So I feel like you've cut ties with someone. I'm getting something like you've buttoned your lip about something and it's like somebody wants to unfasten that. Somebody wants to get you to talk to them about something. Okay, what's behind please, please dance, always, and loud. I feel like this person's about to get loud if they've been quiet, okay? I feel like the two of you have been doing some kind of dance for a while together. Now, again, this could be like career, like you're going back and forth with your employer, you don't know what's up. But this feels like kind of a cycle that's been happening for some time. Your current energy is the hermit here. I feel like you're very observant. You are keeping to yourself. You do realize here that you feel like something is unfolding. It doesn't feel panicky to me. It's like expected. You expect something to unfold. 
you feel very chill. <laughs> it's just that spirit saying, when you're not thinking about this situation and you get like exhausted or you feel like you need to slow down or you feel like you need to go for a walk or a run or whatever, listen to that impulse and that instinct. It's okay to take a break. Or if you feel like you need, I don't know, like some source of food, I'm hearing protein, like be intuitive with the way you're working with your body, you know? Listen to your body. It wants a bath, take a bath. It wants this food, eat that food. There's something going on alchemically within your body here. And when you intuitively pay attention to that, you're going to have some kind of, I'm hearing, cosmic understanding of this situation before something occurs, which is usually the case when spirit wants to guide us. In a, they, want, they want to give us a little bit of a heads up here. And by that, I mean connecting to your higher self will allow you to deal with the situation in the best way possible. I feel like um, you need to know that you're protected. It's interesting. I'm seeing this card. Um, you and your loved ones are protected from this deck. I'm seeing that. So let's see. What else do you want to say from this? Meditate and contemplate with the Hermit card. Yes. Answers are coming through meditation. A fiery climax approaches. See, this is the combustion. Okay. A couple more. Don't let your past hold you back. Expect powerful change and luck is on your side. Yeah, I feel like if this person or situation... Uh, caused you some trouble or anxiety in the past, don't let that memory or that expectation hold you back from trusting your intuition on how you should act. Do you know what I mean? I know the best predictor of the future is the past, certainly when it comes to people's behaviors, but don't feel like you haven't grown and gotten stronger. Whatever is coming in, you're going to know how to handle it. Okay, something says... Uh, unsuspecting I was gonna say interesting surprising um, we have the Empress and on this it says the alchemical mother I love this you've been kind of preparing and almost waiting for this moment for some time so this could be somebody coming in to confront you, having something to say. It could be a job opportunity opening up. It's something here that's gonna be like, whoa, where did this come from? And there's some kind of unstable person involved in the mix. So maybe the opportunity is a positive one, but you need to navigate around a certain character, a certain personality, okay? So, you know, try to be creative with how you're receiving this reading. It doesn't have to be one specific storyline. This I'm hearing this could be playing out in multiple ways. I'm hearing you'll know. So you've been, I'm seeing 777 as well. Okay, so you will be ready for this when it happens and you've been waiting. I feel like This other energy knows how strong you are. They probably think you're stronger than you even think you are, which might catch you by surprise to even know that or learn that. Interesting. Anything else? Okay, let's get one of these. Tell me more about the Empress. King of Cups. King of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Swords. You understand really the core of someone. Who they present present on the I was gonna, almost going to say present. Maybe this person gives a lot of gifts, but who they present on the outside it's often different than how they feel on the inside. At least that's been your experience. My eyes twitching a little bit there. I feel like uh, you're going to see something that's going to show you um, what mindset this person is committed to. Huh. We have two of cups. And I saw the four of wands in reverse. 
this is a person who wants your energy to be linked to theirs take that however uh, but there's a lack of stability here that this person either can offer off offer it's like my words throughout this whole reading have been stuttery coming out in a strange way so maybe that's some kind of sign maybe there's something about speaking isn't always clear or it's hard to get the words out there's something that this person can't really offer but they have they have a vision for what it could mean um there's something short-sighted here about this opportunity this person this climax that's coming it's like this person is expecting it to unfold in one way but it really isn't gonna turn out that way so what's unexpected is you're gonna be able to read this person i feel like see right through for good or for bad what they're saying or what they're offering you I also feel like even though this person knows deep down how strong you are, it's almost like they're going to approach you as if you're vulnerable. I don't know what that's about, why that person would choose to do that. There's, they're lacking some awareness here, for sure. So if this is an employer, they might, you know, lowball you or try to give you a big project um, in a with a short deadline or something like that you know like i don't know commission you for something but not offer you enough money there's something strange going on like this or a person from the past here coming in to work something out but really not showing up with all that much six of cups could be for some of you here a person from the past that you walked away from i'm seeing king of wands in reverse could be that fire sign that seems to come up for you quite a bit in your reads. Um, could be in Aries, Venus in Aries, I'm hearing. Okay. Whew, Cancer. <laughs> so what's ending? We have the Seven of Wands in reverse, and it says the Determined Otter on this card. So your determination to make yourself seen, I'm hearing, or make yourself known, or appeal to someone is ending it's like you don't really care much anymore perhaps in the past you really wanted approval here from someone tell me a little bit more about that six of cups yeah this person from the past maybe you've had a tendency throughout your life here to have to defend what's yours or and in the process that required like under I'm sorry cancer this is kind of strange the energy it's like understanding people's personality quirks is something that you've had to tune yourself to in order to protect what's yours I don't know what that means exactly what's beginning is the six of swords the brand new journey it says on it beautiful so you're getting ready here to detach mentally from this situation. Now, when this fiery climax comes in, this combustion, I feel like that's that moment that you take off. Two of Cups. And I was seeing this strength. And I was seeing these two hurricanes here. So what's beginning is a connection. Now, it could be for some of you with this. Like I was saying, maybe it's a great job. It's just a shitty boss in the way or something like that. Or maybe it is a love connection, but there's things that need to be worked out. I don't know. You're going to have to see. Or it could be a new love connection for you. But whatever it is, it, it's strong. It's divinely guided here. There's some kind of, um, I'm hearing reuniting, but it could be reuniting with a part of yourself that makes you happy. A brand new journey, the cards, card says here. After feeling really, I'm hearing like a nobody, hopefully not, but kind of looked over, left out. So beautiful. 
Beautiful here. I feel like you're going to connect to more people. This could even be making a solid connection with a friend or building a friendship that really soothes your soul. Your advice is the page of pentacles. It says the butterfly show vixen. The butterfly show vixen. Interesting. Your transformation is so apparent to everybody who knows you. You're just showing up different. Your energy is just different. Everybody can see it. It's like you're like the butterfly. You're wearing it on your face here. It's not a mask. It's like a badge of honor. And it even though you are stepping into this new journey, having to learn new things here, and whatever this is this is about for you, you're coming into it with a sense of strength and wisdom. I'm hearing of what you can do with the energy and knowing that when it, something happens that you don't approve of, you can walk away. You're not trapped, you're not tied to anybody. Those days of confusion, wrestling in your mind about what's true and what's not true, what's your path and what's not your path, are ending, if not over completely. So Spirit is saying for your advice is to remember. Remember that you're always a student of life, but also remember how wise you are in the process. Just because you're a student, right, and this could be literal, doesn't mean that you don't know a lot already about other things. Yes, you can know quite a lot. Keep that curiosity for knowledge and life and experience open. And it also and this is also talking about reviewing your emotional palette, I'm hearing, when it comes to this situation. How do you really feel? Go through the different emotions. Maybe, maybe you want to think of seven different emotions that you feel in relationship to an important situation you're thinking about. Like you could be very basic, like happy, sad, mad, you know, whatever. Or you could get more <laughs> creative with the verbiage. But, you know, basically come up with seven emotions and think about how they apply to this situation or this person. In what, what, what parts of the relationship do you feel like that? You know, that kind of thing. Is there anything that's missing here, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Huh. Interesting energy, Cancer. Okay, the outcome. And this is where I'm seeing this unstable character. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Brother of the Wild, and the Two of Pentacles, the Juggling Snake. And both of these are showing up in reverse here. I'm hearing what's their problem. Hmm. You know, one time I'm hearing this, um, I asked that to somebody, I said, like, what's your problem? And they said to me, you. <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> but I feel like maybe you had the same experience, Cancer. And I feel like you're going to understand that Maybe you are their problem because you push them to be a certain way or you show them something that maybe they're, they're not willing to look at. There is a problem here that you present for this person, but I feel like you're going to immediately know that it's not your problem to fix. You're not a problem. You could be their problem, but you, as you, are not a problem. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like maybe you took something personally before and now you're really not going to. It's not a question of why the, why me, why don't they like me and blah blah whatever. It's like, mm, why am I a problem for that person? Let's think about it because I know who I am and I hey, I like me. And I feel like cancer you're in that place of the hermit. Like I like me. So if you are okay with who you are, then why are you presenting a problem to someone else? Like, what is it that's triggering them? I feel like this is going to be very clear to you in the outcome. Okay, Cancer, I want to go into the extended, and I want to look more 
uh, this person here, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, how is, what's going to unfold here with this fiery climax. But let's get a closing card to just kind of give you a little bit more guidance here um, going forward. And I'll pull out some more charms too, I feel like. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a card. Let's get a message. No, let's get the charms first. Some more charms, spirit guides. For the Cancers who are watching, and a little bit more. Okay, so we have Taurus again, we have Aries, we have Libra, um, also Justice, it could be legal. We have a little lighthouse, and I remember us in one reading talking about a whole lighthouse situation. I'll try to put that reading linked at the end. Um, if I can remember which reading it was. It's actually really interesting because I almost picked that deck up right there and that's the one where it came out. Okay, I'll have to find that link that at the end. Um, there's some link between this reading and that reading. The letter N, the number two, the number one, so it could be 12 or it could be 21. Uh, we have S, learn. <laughs> which goes along with the Page of Pentacles. And then we have uh, Capricorn. Some sing, okay, this person could sing here. Uh, we have Sagittarius, uh, interesting. We have Full Moon, the letter P, A totally apathetic face here and a little cat okay so what I'm getting from these here it feels like somebody this could yeah I feel like this situation or this person somebody's trying to work on something intuitively how to come towards you or how to uh, release whatever's gonna be let's let's find out a little bit more about this what's gonna happen just a little bit more we have a key. We have Saturn. Yeah, the, whatever is about to happen, this fiery climax, it is some kind of lesson here. Cornucopia, it will end in abundance for you. The letter B. Uh, Cancer, yes. Libra, again, another key. Three keys. Okay, so this is about to unfold something for you. Three gifts of abundance, three pathways, three opportunities. There's something that's going to come in three that will be beneficial for you, I feel like, once this situation has passed. Now, it's not like, doesn't really feel like a tower moment. It feels more like something you're anticipating. It's just like, not a wildfire, just like a poof. It's like poof, maybe something's gone or poof, something appears. Okay, I feel like this is really, um, I'm hearing their address might have a five in it. I don't know. And we also have a starfish, so there could be something about a beach here as well. All right, we're gonna go into the extended. Uh, but if this is where you go, I love you so much and I'll see you next time.